In this video, we take a closer look at the brand new Arc Patrol software. New software for the Uniden Home Patrol. It's not a replacement for the Sentinel software, just to make it clear. With this software, you can manage and add your own favorite frequencies and trunk systems. Now, the Sentinel software is used to update the internal database of the scanner and also used to uh, upgrade the firmware of the uh, uh, Home Patrol uh, scanner. Now, in this software, uh, it's just an easy tool to add frequencies, and I'm going to show uh, you a little bit about it. Um, first of all, when we start, we just have a blank screen. Let's say we want to add some frequencies. Uh, we go to File then add and then a new conventional system then the software in the browser it will add this new system there when I click it in the right pane uh, I can edit the uh, name for example I'm going to call it a test system and within the uh, new system at this moment I have one uh, group I can add new groups by using the uh, buttons over here for example if I click on add group, there's an extra uh, group over there. Uh, now, when I click on the browser here on the, in the left pane, it will automatically change the uh, information in the right pane. So if I want to change the name of this group, I click on new group, and then over here I can just enter a new name, like test group 1. Uh, then I want to remain, rename this test group 2 and now we can just enter our own frequencies for example I want to add some uh, hem frequencies 145.65 uh, this is for example a repeater frequency now it is very important that when you create your own favorite lists in the uh, home patrol uh, in the arc patrol software is that you select a service type the HP1 can only scan frequencies that are assigned to a service type. So in this case, it is a ham radio frequency, so I set the service type to ham. Uh, just enter it. Um, so I can add some more frequencies, just uh, some random uh, frequencies. And once you, uh, you're, you're done entering your own frequencies, you can upload them uh, into the uh, HP1 scanner. So you only need to connect the uh, scanner using the supplied uh, USB cable. Um, then we press this button over here, HP1. Now the software will automatically uh, try to detect the uh, HP1. So you can see here it detected the uh, HP1 on drive J. So now the information I entered in the uh, software, I can just give it a name. So it's easy to recognize in the HP1. So I just call it test ham for ham radio. Then I say save. And now the information is actually copied uh, to the uh, HP1 and is, is now available for scanning. Um, I also want to show you a uh, trunk system. So if I want to add a trunk system, I can say file, add new trunk system. So then again, here in the left pane, I will see the system. I can change the names, I can change the system type if I would like to. Then every trunk system requires at least one uh, site. A site is where you store the frequencies. So I click on new site. Then on the right side I can see the trunk frequencies. So I can enter just a random frequency, 855.1. Uh, the best thing to do is to go to uh, radioreference.com, uh, the database section and look up the uh, frequencies. Uh, there are some general settings here for the uh, uh, trunk system, but you can just leave them to default for now. If the trunk system is a new rebanded trunk system, you have to make sure that the Motorola band plan type is set to custom rebanded. And this will automatically load the tables uh, required for a rebanded uh, system. The next thing to do is to enter uh, tour groups. It is important that you that you uh, enter tour groups because uh, the HP1 can only track a system if there are 
if there's one or more uh, talk groups uh, programmed. So I just entered a talk group there. Again, it's important to select a service type. So this is, for example, uh, EMS uh, dispatcher. So I just select that service type. Uh, now I can save this if I like to, or I can upload it into the HP1. Uh, finally, we can uh, import our own frequencies from Ray Reference. I just give it. I was just uh, do a quick demonstration here. So it's connecting to the database now. It will take some time. Okay, so now we downloaded the uh, states. We're in uh, Massachusetts. Then we can select the county, so we just select Middlesex. Conventional frequencies. So now it's downloading information from the database. This will take some time, depending on the uh, internet connection. There you go. We get some information there. So we can just highlight this and that and then to the import button and now these frequencies they are all copied into the software I can go back to the main software and here you will see all the different uh, groups from the array reference import and all the frequencies there so there's a frequency and the alpha tag plus the uh, service type so you can see here the different uh, sections in this county and now again this information is, uh, is ready for uh, upload.